What is up guys, t Down. I'm bringing you a new figure review after a very long time. I know I haven't been keeping my channel up to date with figure reviews just because, you know, I've cut back a lot on um, figure spending. Um, you know, it's at that point where I have a lot of figures and I don't have any room left in my room. So I'm probably pretty much just stockpiling my figures right now. Um, so yeah, you know, enough about that. Let's just head straight into the figure. With us today we have Miss Amelia from ReZero, uh, one of the most popular animates of the... Uh, what is it? Last uh, summer season, summer season, summer season, spring season of uh, 2016. So very popular anime. Uh, there was a lot of you know waifu wars between Emilia and Rem, but you know I decided to pick up Emilia. Of course I have Rem pre-ordered too, but Emilia you know first was first introduced to us in ReZero, and he she is the main love interest for um, our main guy Subaru. So with this beautiful release by Kotobukiya. Um, you know, I'm pretty excited for it. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's begin. So here is the front box. Um, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yo, just bear with me. It's been a while since I've done this. All right, I haven't done big review videos in so long. Now this is gonna be like a very lax, uh, you know, <laughs> review. I don't really spot out details or anything like that. It's just my thoughts and my opinions on this. So the front box looks all right. Um, nothing very. Oh, unique, nothing stands out to me, just a clear V-Zero box, uh, colors are white to purple, reflects Amelia's character very well, so, very simple box, it's a small box too, compared to other boxes. So here's a short preview of Amelia, and as you can see she's holding some sort of crystal, she's on uh, an ice, an ice or something, a frozen solid iceberg or whatever you want to call it, an ice platform, there we go. Because her powers do revolve around, you know, ice. And here's the back. We got some more shots. Let me focus real quick. Everything's in Japanese, so I can't really read it for you guys. If anyone wants to uh, translate for that, that would be great. Ooh, look at this shot. Amazing. <laughs> no, I'm not just saying because I'm a booby guy. I'm just saying because it's a nice shot. Yeah, yeah. Alright, here's the final side. And that's, uh, that's about it. And let's look at the top of the box real quick. It's a special, special snowflake on top. Of course, Kotobukiya. Now, this might be a 1 8 scale, I'm guessing, because I didn't really check, but I'm pretty sure it's a 1 8 scale. You know, it'll be in the title and stuff, so don't worry about that. So, I'm gonna open her up real quick, and uh. Play with her. I'll show you guys what she looks like outside of the box. Ta-da! We have Amelia Tan right here with us, guys. And I have to say, it's a very simple figure. Very simplistic, very beautiful. Um, it's a very well-designed figure. Uh, it captures Amelia's uh, spirit very well. <laughs> spirit, because you know she has a spirit, too. His name is Pluck, but you don't actually see him in, in this figure. But still, you know, it does capture her essence very well. Um, I, I do like what Kotobukiya did with this particular figure, uh, the the platform is absolutely amazing, and and of course she looks exactly like how she does from the show. Um, so Rizzo is an original anime; there is no manga or anything like that. So this is as close as you can get, you know, to the source material. So let's uh, let's zoom in so I can give you a couple of close shots and see what she looks like up close. So here is her face now. From this angle, she looks really, really cute. Um, you can't really see her elf ears uh, because they're covered by her hair. But, you know, it doesn't matter. She still looks like Amelia. It is Amelia. Uh, she has the purple eyes, the, you know, the purple ribbon. And then, of course, this attachment right here is her summoning like an ice crystal or some, of some sort or an ice spell. Um, this originally, the hand originally had uh, no ice you know, spell forming. Uh, I, I reattached it with, uh, well, it came with this, the stock hand. This is her, just her regular right hand, but I replaced it with um, the ice crystal. So, if you decide to, you know, pose her with her regular hand, that's also an option for you if you're, you know, not down with the ice crystal. Uh, moving forward to her chest area right here. Let's see if I can zoom in some more. I can't, but um, I'll move the camera closer so you can see what I'm talking about. So you see there's her necklace right there, and that is where her uh, 
summoning a spirit comes from or a spirit comes from which is Puck or Pluck, however you pronounce his name, I don't remember how to pronounce his name. But that is where he resides. So kudos, Kotobuki, to Kotobuki for getting it right, sorry. <laughs> and um, yeah, her uh, her chest looks big and it's uh, it's pretty accurate, so um, yeah, no, uh, no complaining there. Now moving down, uh, her regular attire right here. Very simple, very elegant, uh, very Amelia-like. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Of course, there's attention to small detail. There's the patterns right there, the edges, the purple edges. Now, fun fact about this figure is that it's actually removable. What I mean is that you can actually take her apart and you can uh, take, oh, I'm sorry. You can actually remove her skirts right here. There's actually two parts of her skirt. There's like an underskirt and an overskirt. Uh, like the overskirt represents this, uh, this thing right here, this cape looking thing right here, as you can see. So, I mean, I will probably take her apart later and let you guys see in her panties, but, you know, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> so, moving on, this is the platform, the uh, ice crystal platform. It's uh, very clear, light bluish color. Mm, not much to say about it. I mean, I, I like it. I mean, Amelia is glued onto this thing, so you can't really remove her from the base. But that's perfectly fine with me. The um, overall design of the base looks really, really fitting for uh, Amelia's character. So, kudos on the base. All right, now moving on. Let's switch some angles or look at some different angles real quick. So here is, of course, the hair. The hair is always important when it comes to these type of figures. Now earlier when I was removing uh, the upper body and the lower body, it kind of I, I kind of heard like a snap. I didn't break anything, but I feel like if, if I, I felt like it might have something to do with the hair. So just be careful if you uh, remove her body, you know, her upper body from her lower body. Just be very, very careful. Don't be rough, and um, nothing will break. Uh, but back to the hair, of course. The hair is it's fine. I mean, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, I wouldn't say accurate representation. Her hair is a lot whiter, if I remember correctly, but. You know, given the circumstances that this is a toy, um, <laughs> there's not much to say. I mean, the hair is great. The design looks amazing. As you can see, it's like foam in the wind and stuff. It looks absolutely stunning, but um, the color is a little bit off, but that's okay. It's perfectly fine with me. It looks more a little bit purplish from, for me, like grayish purplish. So, pretty good hair. Of course, here, like I said, said earlier, the ice crystal right here and the formations below this diamond looking thing it, it looks it looks absolutely stunning all right of course there's the hair button right there too or the ribbon i mean right here very like close close to to details you know the small details always counts so let's back up i move to this angle of course you can see some some skin action right here uh not, not much has changed, uh, not much to say, but you know, this this nice piece of skin right here, <laughs> you know, absolutely stunning, of course. And uh, that's about it. That, that's about it for this, this angle right here. Alright, let me get a good shot out for her. Alright, so, I think I'm going to remove her upper body from her lower body and show you guys what I was talking about earlier because... Uh, you know, I think she looks a little bit different without her skirts on, so uh, just give me one second. Alrighty, back with the panty shot. Now, um, you can't really see her panties at all, um, especially from this angle. Um, it is white, uh, but let me, let me see if I can try to zoom in for you guys so you can, you know, see what her panties look like. So, that, that is her panties. It is completely white. Um, now this is her without her skirts on. Uh, you can see her butt right here, and it's a perfectly shaped butt, in my opinion. It's a very nice butt. Now I can't remove her from the base. You can't actually see what she looks like underneath all of that. You know, all, all, all underneath. You can't see her butt. All right. So, so you know, it's it's a shame. There's dojins for that. So here's some more of that skin. Like I said, you know, detail. Small details always count. Close attention to details, great. So it extended right here. Uh, looks absolutely amazing. No, that's about it. Um, you can't really see anything else. Maybe if I t 
tipped her over, but you can see her underwear. There you go. It's very shadowy because I'm blocking it, but it's not. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. So, yeah. Overall thoughts of this figure. Um, I, I I like it. I like this figure. Uh, especially is it's from Kotobuki yeah, because Kotobuki is one of my favorite companies to own figures from. You know, um, I never get sponsored or anything by them, but I still love them. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. My videos are garbage. <laughs> But yeah, they they make great figures. Um, you know, as as one of the only Amelia figures out there on the market, I uh, you know I, I I I don't regret buying it. It's I think it might be a little bit pricey, but you know, one our figures aren't pricey, especially if it's like a, a popular character like Amelia. I mean, Rems can be even you know more popular as uh, time goes by. So uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, this is what I was talking about earlier. This is one of the parts for her uh, undergarments. This is the second part right here. So there's two parts. But um, yeah, overall, I would give this figure a good rating. Uh, I would buy it for a friend or buy it again if I had to. So yeah, very simplistic characters to Essence of Amelia. It is a ReZero figure. Um, so yeah, pick it up if you want it. Um, that's it for today, guys. Um, thanks for watching. It's been a long time since I've uh, put out a figure video. And I hope you uh, like the video, comment on it. Of course, you know, subscribe to the channel, help me out. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. This is T Dino, Sayo Nada.